about a woman. That's tomorrow. Skip work, the feminists tell us, to prove how valuable we are in the workplace. Well, I'm valuable because I show up to work every day. But yeah, ladies, let's teach little girls it's okay to skip work. It's okay to ditch your responsibilities when you're mad about your salaries. Great lesson. Last month, we had a day without immigrants, and 100 immigrants were fired from their jobs. Yeah, this protest is only for the rich, only for the privileged, only for the women who can afford to slough off their responsibilities on somebody else without suffering the consequences. Grab your brand name only pink genitalia hats. This is an elitist protest if there ever was one. Here's the thing, I'm all about women's rights. I work in a man's world. I'm young, I'm female, I get it. It's not easy. But what are you being denied because of the patriarchy? Is there a job you've been denied because you're a girl? So that's illegal, has been since 1963. Is there a class at school you're not allowed to attend because you're female? No, there's not. That's illegal, too. Has President Donald Trump taken rights away from you that you had before he was president? No, no, he hasn't. All he's threatening is your free birth control and you're acting, well, you're acting like hormonal, emotional brats about it. You don't stand up for the women in Iran, Iraq, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, Syria, Yemen, and the Sudan who were mutilated, oppressed, and killed because they're girls. You don't stand up for the Yazidi girls who were burned alive in a metal cage because no doesn't mean no to ISIS. You don't stand up for Christian women, business owners, whose shops were shut down because the government didn't like their religious beliefs. You don't stand up for the 200,000 women who defend ourselves against sexual abuse every year with legally owned firearms. You claim to stand up for women, but you're not. You're just pretending to be the victim, demanding special treatment because of some imaginary wrong in your dislike of any woman who disagrees with you. Lump in the fact that you've made choices in your life and choices in your career that result in a lower salary than some men you know, and you think you have a moral case to stomp around dressed like a crotch. You march for the women who want to stand in line with hand outstretched for the government to dole out free birth control pills to you like cattle. You pretend you're so irreplaceable in the workplace that a strike will cause the wheels of industry to grind to a halt. By the way, most companies are just going to struggle on without you. And what point does that make? You're expendable? You're replaceable? But the 29 million baby girls who never got to enjoy their fundamental right to life, every day is a day without these women. Funny how these elitist feminist protesters fail to mention them.